there is one more important thing which comes along with the Kennedy's classification that is your Applegate's rule. Right, so Applegate gave eight set of rules. Okay, if you want to classify any partially edentulous arch according to the Kennedy's classification, you need to follow these eight set of rules given by Applegate. So the first one is classification should follow rather than precede extractions. So what does it mean? In this diagram, if we see, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Suppose these teeth, these two teeth are decayed. These three are decayed. These two are also decayed. So I am going to extract all these five teeth. Okay. Four, five. Now after extracting these five teeth only, I can determine the classification. So the first rule is the classification should follow what extraction rather than precede them okay rather than preceding okay now second rule rule number two if the third molars are missing if the third molars are missing and not to be replaced then they are not considered in the classification so if you are having a patient whose third molars are missing and you are not going to replace third molar usually we replace till second molar right so if the third molars are missing and not to be replaced then they are not considered in the classification missing third molars are missing and not replaced not replacing then not included in the classification so that you you will not consider that in the classification now rule number three rule number three if third molar is present and used as an abutment if you want to use that as an abutment if it is present and used as abutment then it is included in classification okay very easy first is the classification should follow extraction rather than precede them second if the third molar is missing and not you are not going to replace then do not include that in the classification fourth is if the third molars are present and you are using them as an abutment then you have to include them in the classification now same goes for second molars like this uh, what it was for third molar second molar is missing and not replaced then not included in classification okay very easy rule number five the posterior most edentulous area determines the classification suppose i have these three teeth missing and these two teeth missing so i will take in account the posterior most edentulous area okay posterior most edentulous area so the posterior edentulous area determines the classification okay determines the so now in this case i will consider this one single edentulous area as class 2 okay and for this edentulous area i'll tell now rule number six so rule number six is any other edentulous area than the main class is considered as modification space any other edentulous area rather than main class is considered as modification space so it will become class 2 mod 1 because this is one modification space if one more teeth is missing it becomes modification 2 so like that and the space is taken into the account not the number of missing teeth in the modification space so if there are two additional edentulous area it is mod 2 
not the number of teeth which are missing okay so the number of edentulous space is considered okay not the number of teeth missing rule number 8 very easy no modification in class 4 because suppose anterior like this this is class 4 edentulous area right now if i create one year also now this will determine classification why because it is rule number 5 posterior edentulous area determines classification that is why there cannot be any modification in class 4 because you will contradict the previous rules if you give modification in class 4 so that was about your rules of kennedy rules of applegate to determine the kennedy's class of the partially edentulous arch and this completes our first chapter regarding the introduction and classification of removable partial dentures